All right, today we're reviewing Buck's Pizza. Good, better, Buck's. Here's a slice of Buck's Pizza. It came off of a 12 inch pie. It's one slice of pizza. Fabulously tasty. Health consequence, pretty bad. But um, we felt like pizza tonight, so we went ahead and got it. And I feel like I do, should do a review on this for you guys. All right, uh, my, let's review the nutrition facts first. Probably should review it first so we forget about it by the end of the video, but I have them printed out here for you. Here we go. This is this corresponds to this piece you are seeing right here. So the nutrition facts are for one fourth of a pizza of a 12 inch pizza. So this one slice is one fourth of a 12 inch pizza. And here are the corresponding nutrition facts. In this one slice of pizza, you're gonna get 320 calories. Um, total, total amount of fat, 12 grams, saturated fat, 6 grams, total cholesterol, 2 milligrams, sodium, 610 milligrams, that's quite a bit, potassium, 0 milligrams, total carbohydrates, 40 grams, almost as much as, or just about as much as a can of 12 ounce soda, dietary fibers, 3 grams, sugars, 3 grams, protein, 14 grams. Vitamin A, 10% of your daily value. Calcium, 20% of your daily value. Iron, 15% of your daily value. So overall, if you were to eat an entire pizza, you would get 48 grams of fat. That's a lot. Um, but at the same time, you get a little bit shy of 60 grams of protein. Um, it would be 56 to be exact. All right. So these are the nutrition facts. Now, since we've just discussed the nutrition facts, why don't we come over to my health continuum, uh, the health scale, and see where this pizza falls. As my camera focuses, and here we go. Now, this is definitely an item better off not eating. I would give this a three out of 10. And that's obviously because there is some nutritional value in the protein you get, maybe the calcium, but the sodium and the carbohydrate consequence, as well as the fat consequence, do not warrant the 14 grams of protein. If we look back at our nutrition facts, you can quickly see that total fat, 12 grams with 40, carb, 40 grams of carbs, and that too, these aren't probably the best carbs. These are carbs from refined dough and wheat. Um, it doesn't quite justify the 14 grams of protein you get, and that too, the protein probably from the cheese. So, um, once again, this gets a three. This is definitely a food item you're better off not eating than eating. All right, that's what the health consequence. Um, the, the pizza did come in a nice pizza box and it was warm and tasty, well packaged when I received it. It looks like typical pizza. It's thinner than your average Chicago deep dish. It's about, it's kind of about the thickness of a tombstone pizza. You can see right there. Um, so not, not too bad. It smells, smells just like pizza. It smells kind of not quite as good as let's say a fresh home cooked pizza. Doesn't quite smell like a frozen pizza either. I'd say it smells kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese or a Little Caesars type pizza. Um, it feels kind of like pizza would. This one although has gotten a little cold. It's a little bit more stiff and dry. And then let me see what it tastes like so I can tell you guys. Mm, this pizza is definitely pretty saucy and the sauce is not quite, it's a little bit sweeter than tomato sauce. Um, I would say compared to Papa John's, this sauce is a little bit sweeter um, and compared to some something say like Pizza Hut, it's also a little bit sweeter. Pizza Hut is a little bit spicier of a sauce. Um, the dough is pretty typical and standard of a pizza you would get. And the cheese, the cheese is 
not particularly fantastic. It's not particularly terrible either. It's definitely better than something you get off of a frozen pizza like a Tombstone, but definitely not on the same level of a Pizza Hut or a Papa John's. Overall, I'd give this health-wise 3 out of 10, but taste-wise, I'd give it probably a 6 out of 10 for pizza. I've definitely had better pizza, and it's definitely not the worst, and it's definitely better than average, I would say. Um, my favorite way I like to eat pizza is I like to eat pizza just right when it's warm, and I usually like to have a side of salad with balsamic vinegar. Um, everybody will have it differently, um, and most people usually have different toppings on there. I just like straight cheese pizza. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope it helped putting this on the health continuum. One thing I did forget to mention is talking about if this is a primary, secondary, or tertiary food. This, without a shadow of a doubt, is a tertiary food. It It's a tertiary food that's actually a mixture of three different types of tertiary foods. Tomatoes, milk, and wheat. And so the wheat's been processed down to make the flour, which has ended up making the bread. The cheese has been processed um, milk, I'm sorry, to make the cheese, the wheat's been processed into making the dough, and tomatoes have been processed into making the sauce. And I'm sure there are tons and tons of additives, although I couldn't find the specific ingredient list for this item. All right, thanks for watching the review. I hope this helped you um, make better health, make better uh, food choices. And if you liked it, please subscribe, put the thumbs up if you like pizza, um, and if you like the review, obviously also, and hope to see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.